Hello everyone, I wanted to do a, hopefully, once again, quick video about the Commission on Presidential Debates. Um, there's been a lot of interesting news going on out there. Um, most of you know that the Gary Johnson campaign has filed an antitrust lawsuit against the organization. Uh, I don't know all the details of the lawsuit. Um, I do know a little bit about it, but I'm not going to give another long-winded speech like I've been doing. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, start kind of a new strategy because lately, well, you know, most of you saw my video where um, where I call the uh, one of the polling agencies, and that was kind of the strategy to try to get Gary Johnson in the polls um, and hopefully get him into the debate according to the commission's rules, which were rigged to begin with. Uh, remember, the threshold used to be 5%, and they changed it to 15% after Ross Perot. I think that's pretty blatantly uh, excluding third-party candidates, uh, because they know third-party candidates can make a difference when they get to debate, and they don't want that. Uh, but there's... Um, so, so the new strategy, uh, as far as getting Gary Johnson in debates, and I understand... The debate is, the first debate is the day after tomorrow. Um, there will be, I think, two more in the following weeks. So we do maybe have a chance with one of those, and there will be a vice presidential debate. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool to see Judge Jim Gray debate Paul Ryan and Joe Biden. Um, he'd crush them without even, without even blinking an eye, he'd crush them both. But, um... So the idea is now to go directly after the Commission on Presidential Debates. This is going to happen in a couple ways, and um, again, a couple links in the description. Uh, the Libertarian Party has a petition. Um, I'm not sure. I'll get you a link to that if that's still if that's still online. But um, the petition basically is going to be signed by a lot of people saying uh, we think you should include other candidates in the debate including Gary Johnson. Um, of course, another thing is to keep flooding their contact info with emails and phone calls. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, their email inbox was full for a little while. Their voicemail inbox was full for a little while. Let's make sure that it stays full and that their phones tie stay tied up around the clock. So we keep their emails tied up, we keep their phones tied up, um, they're going to be tied up in court with the campaign launching their lawsuit. Uh, and they're going to, um, <clears throat> and, uh, the other thing is, and this is the number one thing, and, uh, this might be more of a long-term strategy. Um, we might not get to debate this year. I think that's a distinct possibility. But we can at least get the debate commission to perhaps change its rules, and uh, perhaps in 2016, uh, it'll be a better future for all third parties, you know, Green Party, Libertarian Party, whatever. And uh, maybe we will get to see somebody debate. And I definitely look forward to a moment like that. Uh, would be an awesome debate, no matter who the Libertarian nominee is by then. Uh... But the other thing we have to do, and again, this is a long-term thing, you really have to hit them where it hurts. And if you want to hit them where it hurts, it's going to be the money. We can whine and we can complain all day long, but ultimately all the commission really cares about is where they get their sponsorship from. Being that they're calling themselves a non-profit organization, of course they have to be sponsored by uh, private organizations. So the good news is, they have already lost um, three of the ten main sponsors that they had before. Uh, the first sponsor was BBH New York. Uh, this was uh, pretty good. Uh, well, this was pretty good. Um, this was a major victory. BBH New York basically said... Um, we agree that it's shameful that they're excluding candidates. We think everybody should be represented equally. So we have decided to end our sponsorship, more or less. Uh, YWCA also ended their agreement to fund the Commission on Presidential Debates. 
Um, they wrote an apology. They agree that the debates are not fair in this country, and we claim that everyone is equal. So right there, two days after the announcement came out that Gary Johnson would be excluded and that only these two candidates would be debating, uh, they lost two sponsors. And just this past Friday, I think, uh, one of their major sponsors, because the other two were kind of relatively small sponsors, uh, but one of their major sponsors, Phillips Electronics, also dropped uh, the Commission on Presidential Debate from their sponsorship. Uh, so right there, we're already having a victory. That's why I want to make this video and really get this rolling. As well as calling the Commission and emailing them directly, we need to go after their sponsors. I have already started doing this. I sent an email to uh, Anheuser-Busch, which is probably their largest sponsor. Um, I basically informed them that I think what the Commission on Presidential Debates is doing is shameful. They're not educating the public. Um, and I don't think that they should sponsor them anymore. And I followed it up with saying, uh, as long as you continue to sponsor them, I will not be buying your products. Uh, so no more Budweiser for me. Um, it, it wasn't even that good anyway, to tell you the truth. I just as soon as drink Coors Light or something else anyway. But, um, but yeah, if you're a beer drinker, definitely contact Anheuser-Busch. Contact them anyway. Um, and follow up whatever threats you make. You know, if you tell them I'm not going to buy your products if you keep sponsoring them, don't buy their products after that. And the sales figures will show them uh, what they need to do, I think. Uh, but yeah, I want a massive boycott of Anheuser-Busch. There's a couple other sponsors on here. Uh, the International Bottled Water Association. If you haven't emailed them already, I encourage you to do so. If you haven't called them, I encourage you to do so. Uh, but we really have to attack this on multiple fronts. And, you know, uh, it, it's, it's kind of like a war. If you storm a fortress, uh, you have two choices. You can try to take the fortress by siege. You're going to sustain heavy losses. Um, they have strong fortifications. They have a good defense. It's going to be pretty tough to do, but if you do an ambush around the city and you cut off their supply lines, you can starve them out. And uh, this seems to be the best way to go. Uh, cut off their supply, cut off their funding, cut off their sponsors, um, go after these people full force. So um, I'm going to put that contact info there. Again, I'm going to encourage you, if I can find this survey, I'll put that in the description. I encourage you to... Uh, or petition, excuse me, sign that petition on the Libertarian Party website and um, you know let's take this head on, let's be serious about this and if not for 2012 then for 2016, how about a better future? How about uh, fairer debates in the distant future? Um, I would definitely encourage this. Uh, so thank you very much guys uh, be sure to contact those sponsors, I think that's the number one thing we need to do uh, and as they, perhaps as they lose more and more sponsors, as the sponsors feel the pressure, their feet is pushed to the fire, um, hopefully, uh, that'll be that. And, uh, maybe they'll finally cave. Thank you guys, and have a nice day.